two, three, fuck it. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know it's been two weeks, but we're back and we're better, so hello. Um, today's video is going to be on power and we just have like nine or seven questions on power, so let's just get started. It's going to be a really short video, so let's go. Okay, so question one wants to know how power is defined as, and our four options were the rate at which work is being done, the amount of the amount of force increases while doing work, the total force applied while doing work, or the total work done. And the only logical answer here would have been the rate at which work is being done, because that's just a that was just part of the notes, and it could also be defined as how fast the work is being done. So that was just something to go based off your notes. So there's really nothing here to explain. So the rate at which work is being done. Which of the following would result in an increase in power? And basically for this one, what I did was I just plugged in the numbers because I honestly didn't really know. So I was like, um, so what would I have to do to increase the power? And so we know that the formula for power is um work over time and work is, al is also force times distance. So I made up um numbers and I basically just plugged it in. So for the first one, I increased the amount of time with the same number. So like I could say force would be 300 and distance is like 30 and then time is 3. And I would just switch around the numbers for each problem. So I would use the same thing, but the only thing I would change would be the amount of time in the second one and see how it affected it and if it increased the power or not. And so when I did all of that for all four um, problems, I mean not problems, for for the four options, my answer was C and that was to decrease the amount of amount of time to do the work in. Well, I guess now you know that decreasing the time would increase the power. If two people lift identical stacks of books the same distance and one person does the job twice as fast, which of the following has doubled? Okay, so one person is getting the work done twice as fast over the same distance and it's the same stack of books. So that would be power because if your rate at getting the work done is twice as fast, then your power would also be twice as fast. Is just directly correlated and basically the definition of power. So that was the only logical answer here. A force of 300 newtons used to push a 145 kilogram mass 30 meters horizontally in three seconds. Calculate the power developed. And so we, again, the formula for power is work over time, and work is also known as um, force time distance. So it's also force time distance over time. So we have the force, we have the distance as 30 meters, and we have the time as 3 seconds. So basically the weight, I mean the mass that he gave you in this problem was completely irrelevant and you didn't need it. So now to multiply, I'm actually take y'all there. So if we did 300 times 30, which is force times distance, divided by the 3 seconds, you get 3,000. And that's how I got 3,000 watts. And another um, important thing to know is that watt is a pretty small unit of power. So sometimes they make it into kilowatts. And if you're trying to get that, all you have to do is divide it by a thousand to get to give you one kilowatt. So if they're asking you for kilowatt instead of watts, it would be three kilowatts. And I know that because I got a problem wrong. And that's because I didn't read the question and actually wanted kilowatts. So I'm just letting y'all know. Just put that out there. That's something important to know. A box that weighs 525 newtons is lifted a distance of 20 meters straight up by a rope. The job is done in 10 seconds. What well, power is developed in kilowatts? Like I was just saying, this is the one that I missed. Okay, so I didn't read the part where it said kilowatts and I just calculated watts and I was really mad. But that's besides the point. So we know that it weighs 525 newtons. So that is your force because it's a force of weight. So that's the force, and then your distance, and then the time. So what you're going to do is 575 times 20, and then divide that by the 10 seconds. So you get 1,150, and they're trying to get kilowatts, but that's in watts, so you divide that by 1,000, and you get 1.15, oops, and that's your answer. An electric motor 
lift an elevator that weighs 12,000 newtons, a distance of 9 meters and 15 seconds. What is the power of the motor in watts and kilowatts? So we have the force of weight, the distance, and the time. They want to know what the power is, force time distance over time. So force is 12,000. I forgot the other one. Distance is 9 meters divided by 15 seconds. So 7,200 watts. And again, to get kilowatts, you need to divide by 8,000 and 7.2. And that is your answer for that. You just need to know um, weight was forced and all that. And then this one is a conceptual question. It says person one is twice the weight of person B. And they will climb the same hill of person A gets to the top in half the time then person a is as powerful or person b or person a is four times as powerful and person b the last two options didn't make any sense honestly so i just eliminated those so the only options we had here were really which one of them was twice as powerful and if person a got to the top in a less amount of time than the other person then obviously they got their work done in half the time and power is the rate at which you do the work or how fast you get your work done so obviously person a got it done faster so that he has more power so he's more powerful like i told you guys it's going to be a really short video and that is the end of the video and i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye guys